Hello, my name is Matias Cavodi, the well guys to my channel. Today, we're gonna to talk about Silver Surfer Black, a fantastic mini series. It's, it's a real treat, like you haven't read it, go out, find it. It's gonna be really worth your while. Um, written by Donnie Cates, art by Trad Moore, and the colorist, because we always, at least I always ignore colorists until they do a bad job. Um, Dave Stewart and Trad Moore's art work fantastic together. And um, Donnie actually gives a lot of room to tread more, um, lets his art stretch his legs, gets pretty trippy at moments. There's a lot of, it's like very artsy fartsy at moments. Like there's a lot of interpretation of what the hell is actually going on. Like we'll get zero dialogue and just these epic panels where so much detail, the color is just really popping off. This is a particular edition that I got here in Argentina. The paper is super high quality. Everything's like catching your eye. Um, it's really great to, well, at least what I did is I read the story first and then I went back and really took my time to take in what's going on in each one of the panels. Just really appreciate what an incredible job we have here. So the story itself, Silver Surfer got shot back to the early days of the universe. He ends up crossing paths with Null, pissing off Null. Now Null is trying to hunt him down. Um, Silver Surfer befriends Ego, a young Ego, and um, at this moment in the story, Ego tells Surfer, hey, something crashed into me, it's causing me a lot of pain, can you give me a hand? So Silver Surfer, again, look at all these pages, it's just beautiful, stunning. Um, what Silver Surfer finds within Ego, what an incredible coincidence, it's Galactus' ship gets lodged into Ego's butt. <laughs> no, just kidding there. So we have Silver Surfer dealing with an ethical question. What is he going to do? Galactus is not born yet. It's his chance to maybe get rid of him, save the universe a lot of trouble. He's about to drop Galactus' ship into a star when the Watcher pops up and says, hey, don't do that. You're going to screw things up. Uh, Galactus is part of the natural order of things. So the surfer actually decides to go into the ship, confront Galactus, and what he discovers is that Galactus is not Galactus yet. He's Galen of Tom. He's the last survivor of his universe. He's an explorer. He's a scientist. And um, he realizes like he's evolving into something that Silver, has, Silver Surfer has arrived, possibly to kill him for crimes that he hasn't committed. But he's like, okay, you seem to be a pretty noble dude. I probably did something very terrible in this future to cause you want cause you to want to kill me. So they really have a fantastic heart to heart conversation where he's like, look, I understand. If you gotta do it, you gotta do it. If you gotta save the universe, all types of grief because of my actions in the future, do proceed. So the Silver Surfer actually decides to spare Gallon. After that, Surfer, after liberating the ship, um has a chat with Ego. I'm not sure what actually happens here. It seems that Civil Surfer sets out to absorb all the light within the universe to use it as the ultimate weapon against Null, who is the like god of darkness, the god of nothing. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Again, look at this panel. So we get the final confrontation between Null and Silver Surfer. It's pretty epic. Again, a lot of interpretation of what the hell is going on outside of the duel between both characters and how the Silver Surfer ultimately destroys Null and how Silver Surfer becomes this harbinger of life and is seems to be the creator of Zen La itself, his home his home planet. But the look that he has, like he goes black, dark, but he has this fantastic opal color and the coloring is just again breathtaking. But as I said, again, there's a lot of interpretation of what the hell is going on, what Silver Surfer is doing. Uh, it's not all very super explicit. Uh, Donnie Kate sort of keeps it vague in what's exactly going on. But, and this might turn some people off. I think he does it a really good job. Um, I don't think he's like taking any types of shortcuts and stuff like that, or it's sloppy to storytelling. But we get Silver Surfer Black. Something that we already had seen before in the Thanos, the final Thanos story where he goes into the future and fights himself, the old self. So 
I'm gonna leave this video here. I hope you guys liked it. Read Silver Surfer Black. It's really good. See you guys next time. Bye.